Candlepin New Generation encourages kids to be active and enjoy Candlepin Bowling. Candlepin New Generation is made possible by Academy Lanes, New England's largest Candlepin Center. Visit academylanes.com. By your community's public access channel. And by your Franklin friends and neighbors, good folks just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching. Brian Rowe, I'm Rob Taylor. It's our oldest contestants, and we are starting with our last coin toss of the season. Twelve long weeks. Twelve weeks. Of it went by fast, thumbs, though. Your thumbs tired? No, my thumbs never tired. Let's see if you got one more toss. Oh, I got you. one more. Me. All right, upper seeds have the call. Um, tails. Brian with the quality toss. Do we trust him? Tim says it's, it's heads. heads. Is it heads? Yeah, it's it heads. is heads. What would you guys like? Lane <laughs> They're taking lane three. They're lucky lane. What are they doing? Uh, boys or girls going first? Girls. Girls. Girls are going first. All right, we'll start with uh, the people we saw just last week. Uh, Kyla, we've had so many great conversations up here together. Is there anything new you have to talk about? No. <laughs> kind of running out of stuff. Uh, I'm listening this time, though. Oh, great, great. Now you now you listen in. Uh, you said this is your proudest bowling accomplishment, being on the show. Tell yeah. me what this means for you. What has it been like bowling on our show? Um, I don't know. It's a chance to move on and hopefully do it again, make it this far. I think you're the youngest contestant in this matchup. I'm not <laughs> All right, I'm wrong. I guess now I'm out of questions because Jamie, months, Jamie just stole my months, question. Three months um, exactly, actually. <laughs> what does the experience mean to you coming back? You'll be, I, we assume you'll be back next year. Yeah. Um, um, I don't really know. Just. It's been fun, right? Yeah. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Good work, Brian. That's great. Yeah. See what happens when I you listen. You. Um, Last show, finally getting it. Mike, what's the what's the game plan? Win. I thought we were going to just switch. How are you going to do it? It's fine. Oh, I, yeah, no, I it's fine. We'll stick with Mike. Mike's doing a great job. It's fine. It, it was a clean it's fine. performance. Uh, how are you going to win? Knock down more pins. Strong, uh, strong tactical decision. Uh, why lane three? What, what's it, what is it about that lane for you guys? I like finishing on the right side. So I have the advantage there in the second half. I can get in their head, make shots. Make them think about what they're doing, opposed to me. I love it. Because I know I'll get in my head. So for Mike's about putting the pressure on, That's I like huge. that. We always thought, you know, you wanted to finish being the second bowler, but he wants to go out and he wants to set the pace. I like it. Cool. Well, let's hear from uh, our other contestants. Jamie, do I even have to ask you a question or you just want to talk? You can ask me a question. All right, uh, you're one win away from getting a pony. I don't uh, like ponies. They what are you going to name your pony? Um, nothing, because I don't like ponies. All right, all right, all right. I'm afraid of horses. All right, so we're not going to get a pony. Championship match, all or nothing, all on the line. How are we feeling? Good, good, good. Nervous? Um, excited, nervous. Excited, nervous. Yeah, not What's like that entail. Apprehensive, I think, is the word you would use. Big word. That's a five dollar word. Yeah. Five dollar word. word. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Going up against a good friend. Yes. She's like my sister. Are you yeah. guys? Are you guys still gonna be friends after? Of course. Are you sure? I'm positive. What if like you really just like get the beat down and you're gonna be hold a little bit of a grudge? No. I mean, like, I might. No, no, actually, I could never be mad She thought about it. She thought about it. She thought about it. All right, well, I don't know about that. More than just a $100 gift card on the line in this one. Yeah, yeah, friendships. This is what we we live for. Breaking friendships. Tim Nasty, what's going on? Good. (laughs) That's not what he asked. That's not what I asked you. (laughs) Anyway, uh, you've seen Pal Chat explode two big times this week, or two big weeks this season. Yep. How are you gonna stay? How are you gonna stay with him? Uh, just throw my ball at the head pin and see what happens. He said that he likes to end over here first to throw marks to get in your head. You gonna let him get in your head? Oh no way! Steel trap up there, right? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Let's yeah, go. <laughs> I am so ready for this match. I am too. Let's stop talking. Let's watch some of the greatest youth bowlers in the game do their thing. And away we go. The championship match of our oldest age group. Jamie Pingree throwing the first ball on lane four. Off, Kyla a little off as well. She's catching a couple extras. You can tell Mike's energy is flowing. He was getting up and willing those pins over to spider off the head pin in the first ball of the game. Oh yeah. Mike's happy to be here and I'm I'm excited to see what he can do. Kyla, no luck. She's on the object. I am uh 
I'm anticipating that this match is going to be a good one and that it's going to get very exciting towards the end. So just now, I want to say thank you for a fantastic season 13 of Canopin New Generation. Thank uh, the kids. Thank, thank the, the parents. Kids. Thank the parents. Thanks, oh, Captain thank, Lanes. Thank Franklin. Thank obviously. Leo's Super Bowl. Leo's for trophies. trophies. Yep, we haven't, we haven't thanked them enough. We haven't, no. Um, thank you for being a wonderful host. Thank you for being a wonderful bowlmate. You're my palm yeah. tree. You're my palm tree. <laughs> uh, Jamie Pingree going for the spare here. She's got a lot of wood, and she oh. uses it and gets robbed. You could tell there were a few tricky ways that wood could go, but on the whole, I thought she had it. Play a little, up, a little more left, a little higher. I guess. Yeah. And a nice That's out a by out. Kyla. Yep, yep. And so I feel like for Kyla, she's still waiting to have it all click on the show, and I would love to see it happen here. She's been in those sure. high 80s. Uh, she's been a little... All of a sudden, a, a high 90 game out of nowhere? Or... Something. She's been a little off the head pin. She is a 90 okay. average, so she's been oh. a little bit underperforming so far, but this would be the match to turn it on. And meanwhile, Pingree looking at our first quarter Worcester of the 12-week season. I'm glad that's our first. I hope it's our last. Oh, those aren't fun to see. Kyla just misses. Tickles the 10. It doesn't fall. It tickles the 10. I like that. Alliteration. <laughs> That's why we get paid the big bucks, Brian. Did you learn that in uh, your teaching days? I have English teacher friends. Yeah. 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 I like it when they cut each other off. Me too. Like, oh, are you going to wait for that wood to stop rolling? Well, I'm going to go. If we could turn this into a contact sport, I would be all for it. Uh, maybe someday. Someday. Kyle Lamoth qualified with a 301. She's a high single of 131, an average of 90. And you know everything else about her because she's already been on the show twice this season. Yeah. Jamie, too. I mean, these are... There's right. nothing left to do but bowl, right? I mean, she's got her favorite subject listed as biology. I don't know if we mentioned that. We didn't. Chatterbox. I didn't see that before. I guess her nickname is Chatterbox, which is which is pretty accurate. She's one of the more. She's a great fun. interview. Oh, I forgot to look at her shoes. She's got some crazy shoes. On. They look like Converse's. They do. They do. They got a nice light blue teal color, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of colorblind, so you might want to take over that one. No wonder you're against me saying the color of the contestants each match. Yeah, it hits home. I get that. I was like, someone's on the purple, and I'm like, what? Pingree, oh god! Oh god! What is happening? I don't know, but Pelchat wanted to end on four. Oh, what a stupid idea! <laughs> Pingree with a quarter of Worcester and a spread eagle plus the five pin all in the same match. Lamont not looking at anything better. Same half. Yeah, the same half. It's ugly. And so our ladies with a little slow start out of the gates here. Pingree with a nice eight, not much more you can do than that. Mamoth with a nicer 10. Oh, come on, it was halfway down. Nice stand corrected, nine. And so we go into the half. The sevens are supposed to wiggle, not the tens. 42 to 41 in favor of Jamie. Oh, I thought Tim was gonna ignore the handshake. <laughs> oh, I was getting excited. A little early throwdown. I thought I was gonna spit on him. Mike talking about head games. Earlier, I I'm with you. Games. I don't see how you can get it, Tim said. This is a focused machine for yes. bowling. Steel trap. I don't think there's anything getting in there. <laughs> Tim is awesome. <laughs> and I feel like that's exactly what you want to I feel like Tim is just going up there, repeating the same motions. I mean, if you're not afraid of jumping off a bridge, yeah, you're not, you're not afraid, afraid of Mike Pelchat. Yeah, you're not afraid of Michael Pelchat. Nice 10 by Douglas, a quality fist pump. Pelchat wow. with a pretty 10 of his own. Pelchat really says, only, so why? Really the only way to make that shot is by kissing the head pin there, and he does it. So let's see him heat up. Six boxes in on each side, no sure. marks yet. Let's get some head pins. Let's throw some strikes around. Let's put a little scare into the, the triple strike pool. Douglas. Oh, thank ask you, and you shall receive. Thank you. Tim Douglas dropping a bomb. This is a big box for Pelchat. Like I said, old Pelchat might want to get a little under him. New Pelchat. That was a good ball. I feel like new Pelchat knows this match is early. Yeah. He knows that he's got a lot of time. A nice 
nice nine. Let's take another yep. look at that Tim Douglas hammer. A little bit light, On but they crumble. Almost. almost. So Tim Douglas delivering for our show here early. Chris just gave us an awesome view of what a hammer does. <laughs> he did. It crushes things. It does. Over it crushes and over things. Until it makes them smack. Douglas oh. on the head pin. They're tumbling. Oh, wow, he leaves just as 10. Belchak going to take his run oh, at our triple strike it. pool. If you haven't heard, folks, and we know you have, $500 gift card going to the kid who throws a triple strike. It's courtesy of Academy Lanes and Franklin TV. Two beautiful nice spares by our by gentlemen. Belchak. Things are heating up. Yep. Getting warmer. It was Toasty. getting cold in here. Not anymore. It's not that cold out here, Brian. It's It's June. It is right? June. It's June, it so June. it's not too chilly. June 2019. Right, Matt? Keep working. Douglas. Oh, Ooh, spread eagle. Hell, Chad, a little. Give him one more. A little more in the pocket. Not much more to look at. Hell, Chad's been making shots like this today. Oh, now Wood's going to come over and help out. Oh, I was going to knock it over. That would gain speed. It accelerated. It I did. Mm, I'll have to talk to Ted about that. He's mad. He's well upset. Look at that, just a little clap and he's back. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I mean, stakes are higher in the championship. Emotion surge, you're putting your all into every ball, you're trying to figure things out. And so we have yep, a 93 to 86 match here. Seven pins to the lead in favor of Douglas and Hingry. Seven pins, is that what you're saying? It is. Absolutely is. Douglas looking to stay on that headband. He does. Tim's found it. And when Tim finds it, he doesn't tend to lose it. That's true. When he gets hot, he can get hot. He's not going to want to sit high. down after this half. No, he's not. You never do, though. I disagree. Okay. <laughs> I, know, I usually want to sit down a lot. Uh, Tim wants to be on the left side of this wood, I think. Uh, just caught in front of the seven. A nice effort by Tim. See, I think Mike wants to sit down. This is, oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, when if you're hot. You've lost a little momentum. Get a chance to regroup. I think Mike wants Tim to sit down. That's a, that's a pretty time. 10. And that's a big swing right there for Pelchat. Keeps the match at 6. 102 to 96 the difference. Pingree and Douglas in the lead as we go into our second half. I like that. You saw in the fourth box, Tim, uh, or Pelchat, excuse me, Mike, let two balls go off to the left. So I took a deep breath, kind of calmed himself down. Could have been disastrous in the, ten, in the fifth box, but escapes with a fantastic 10. Just I'm impressed with new Mike Pelchat. He's nice. He seems more, more yes. cuddly. He is more cuddly. Lamoth with a couple of pieces of wood to help him. And a pretty shot for Lamoth. Maybe that's the spark she's been looking for. We've been waiting to see Lamoth emerge, and there it is. A beautiful spare. And let's take another look at that one. Lamoth flipping that wood right over. And picking up the tricky conversion. Now let's see what she fills it with. She needs four to get this match back to even. And she oh, gets three. My goodness. After burying the head pin. We've seen some weird leaves here today at Academy. Pelchat stood up and thought that was going to be a hammer. Hangry. Looking to fully swing the momentum. Instead, she's looking at the 8 10. Oh, no. Oh, what a ball. What a try. What's going on with this wood here? So well, the, the walls are alive here they at are. Academy Lanes. They are. So if I'm Pingree, I'm going low on the wood on the right, hoping I'm flicking something off the wall and just get everything moving. She goes left. Nice yeah. idea. Yeah. Wow. Wow. A beautiful ten. She's eating up. Kyla, three object pins coming off a beautiful spare conversion. And that's enough to give her and Pelchat a one pin lead. This is going to be a... Uh... Hell of an X8 box. Photo finish, I would say. Lamas. A little off. She's getting into it. She's doing bigger arm swings. She's feeling good. She's got head pin. Gonna have some wood come up and touch it. Should be able to take out the 10. Pangry a little off, but a makeable spare lead. Sure. Down fears right. She steals it. Oh, man. The wood flips backwards in Lamont. Pelchat's starting to get a little excited over there. Moth is woken up. And that's what you wanted. You wanted her to really come on come on scene and make a name for herself. Break out here on Piano Pin New Generation. You know you bowl on your own on this show, even though you're with a partner. But yet sometimes you can feed off each other's emotions. Mike picked Kyla up for a couple games, and now Kyla returning the favor, surging in the second half here. 
So Pingree slowing things down. That's a smart, mature call by a bowl relatively new to the game. Dare I say, like Michael Pelchat's plan is working. He's got, and he's not even bowling right now. He's got Kyler throwing marks, controlling the pace of the match. Mm. Pingree's looking up and seeing that time's running out, and one of her good friends is throwing all these spares against her. And the tides have changed. Is Pelchat an evil genius? <laughs> Perhaps. No, no. You're, you're absolutely right. Uh, New Michael Pelchat isn't just a great bowler, but he's an evil. He's an evil genius. Strategist. As well. This is amazing. Yeah, you gotta wonder if uh, it's hard when you're up there and your opponent is just throwing marks in your face, and you gotta answer. The crowd's cheering, hollering as you're throwing your ball. So we're going to be in for quite the finish. 13 pins the difference. Pingree, I don't know how you make this one. You play that wood on the right and hope it works out. She goes right for it. A good mm -hmm. effort. Mm -hmm. I hate that shot. At that point, she was trying to pin. That shot's annoying. And I uh -oh. don't trust it. That one gets away from Kyla. She finishes with a strong 97 game and a couple of clutch marks. Pingree looking to get every pin she can. And she gets one of them. And so she cuts the lead down to nine. 97, tough five at the end for Kyla. And so, Jamie, right, Jamie 83 with no marks. That's a, that's a solid game. Yeah, she struggled. She missed a couple that she'd like to have had. She got a couple of brutal breaks. The quarter Worcester, the spread eagle plus five. And now Pelchot looking to do, like you said, get that crowd going. But Douglas is unrattleable. <laughs> Pelchat answers. Michael Pelchat. Four boxes left. I'm excited. Let's take another look at that hammer by Tim Douglas. That's how you want to start a half. You're down nine. You lead off with a bomb. It's a pretty thing. But once again, Pelchat answered. Pelchat on the head pin applying pressure. Seven Very and makeable a great spare leaf. leaf. I was hoping Chris would mime my bomb when I did that. I was hoping. I was hoping. Maybe not. There it is. <laughs> Tim off the head pin. Oh, that wood was spinning and it just kind of got caught. Held to the oh, just off. by it. We wanted it. So now Tim with the chance to swing things back to him and he goes left. Yeah, he's gonna need to get out. So a couple. Oh, that one just bounced a little bit. It's kind of a second skip lob. That's happened to him a couple times on four. He knows what he's doing now. He's just dropping the ball a little bit. Douglas with a tough seven. And so despite Douglas throwing the hammer, it's Pelchat who extends the lead to 13. With three to go. It's a tough box. It's now a chance for Tim to reset and try to sway this game back in his direction. It will take a pocket hit to do it. He hits the pocket and that'll do it. Wow. Another hammer by Douglas. Pelchat, oh. what a bid. Ooh, that was close. I've got to say, I bowled in a couple of summer leagues here at Academy, and four horsemen were the most annoying shot in the entire world here. Sure. I would get three miss the, oh, it's, it's annoying. Yeah. And I feel like that kind of bit Tim there. Bit Mike there, rather. Tim is working on the hammer. Pal chat off. It's gonna set up nicely, though. Doesn't have to worry about the four horsemen. He's got the wood helping him. Tim, meanwhile, going for two. Woo! Piece of wood rolls. Oh, that wow. angle. It's pretty. You couldn't have asked for better. Pelchat nice with a clutch spare and a fist pump. Fireworks. Nice shot by Pelchat. As we ride into the sunset, Douglas all over it. What is going on in this math round? Tim gains 10 pins, making it a three pin difference in favor of Pelchat. Both bowlers on mark, one box to go. You're saying three pins in favor of Pelchat, both on balls. <laughs> I'm nervous, Pelchat buries it. And that is a huge fill because big that, a, a. that will force Douglas to mark. And so Tim needs a huge head pin hit here. He gets it. Oh, that's a brutal break. And so Pelchak can nearly clinch this with the spare. He gets it. So Douglas needs this. And then a huge edge in the fill. He's going to have to make a pretty shot. Oh! Wow. What a wow. try by Tim Douglas. A huge effort. Sensational bowling by all of our bowlers. But it is Mike Pelchat and Kyla Lamoth who are going to go Pelchat with the with victory the ball. Victory. A 128 for Tim we Douglas. We want to see him drop 10 here, right? Oh, yeah. 
Oh, yeah. 128 for Tim Douglas. Throw the victory ball. Up short. Drop them all. Well, Mike throws a strike. He beats Tim by one in the match. Oh, and so our gentlemen go 128 to 126 in the finals, 223 to 211 the Amazing. final score. Amazing. We ended with an awesome match. We'll go talk to our champions. We are here with our 15 to 18 champions, Kyla Lamoth and Michael Pelchat. They're going home with these lovely trophies brought to you by Leo's Super Bowl in Amesbury and $100 gift cards. What a match. Oh, it's all we could ask for. It was, it was everything that we wanted it to be and it needed to be. Uh, let's start with Mike, shall we? Mike, the theme of all of our interviews is, as I like to say, and we refer to you a couple times on the, the broadcast, new Michael Pelchat. New Mike Pelchat. New Mike Pelchat. New Mike Pelchat, Mike Pelchat uh, 2.0. I'm going to start out with the fourth box. All right. Struggled a little bit. You threw two to the left, yeah. missed something with some wood. I started to kind of give yourself one of these and a deep breath. Yeah. And then you followed it through with what could have been a disastrous five box. You made a beautiful ten. Yeah. Talk to me about how that swinged your mind, kept you in it, just everything. It was definitely her bowling good. She kind of pushed me to bowl better because I definitely didn't want her to beat me, but it was the fact that, I don't know, I didn't want to get a five. That's, that's, a, that's, a, that's, a, that's a lot of motivation when you got a five hanging over your head. Um, and then close match, single pins even maybe going in the last half. Yeah, oh, it was all single pins. Douglas digits. buries a strike. Two strikes then the second and half. then you answer right away in the sixth box with, a, with another big spare yeah. tell me how that kept you just just in, your, in the right spot it's just bowling first you got to get ahead and the fact that he threw a strike didn't really get in my head it was just i knew i had to make the spare and i did so that kind of pushed me to go on to keep bowling that's the last thing i want to ask you about because we almost saw more with uh kai's half than yours but your plan of ending on four to go first and, and get the pressure on him almost worked. Are you like, is, is new Michael Pelchat also an evil genius? Pretty much, yeah. Criminal Old mastermind. Michael Pelchat, an evil genius. I wouldn't say I was evil back then. I was just Just angry. a genius. <laughs> just, just a genius, and now he's evil. Got it. Uh, congratulations. I'm very proud of the bowler that you are now, and uh, that was awesome bowling. Good job, man. And I'm here with Kyla. Kyla, you completely swung the match at the end of your second half. Uh, what changed? What clicked? Um... Tim's, sec Tim's half definitely scared me, and I knew I had to step it up and just put it all in, and yeah. <laughs> did you like bowling first, or do you feel that gave yeah. you kind of the opportunity? I'm used to bowling first, so yeah. So I was kind of, I don't know. I'm just used to it, so it was fine with me. And some of those spares you made were sensational. What's it like when you're facing a brutal split and you run it down? I don't know, it just feels amazing, and to know that we won is great. Also. Well, I was going to say, I'm I mean, the next question was, how does it feel to be champions? Yeah. But I feel like you've covered it. How does it feel? Great. <laughs> so congratulations to our 15 to 18 champions, yeah. Mike Pelchat and Kyle Lamoth. Pelchat's having a heck of a year. He won our yes. Pro Kid Tournament, too. Well, yep. Cleaning you guys out. Yeah, we don't mind being cleaned out by an evil genius. So I'm saying, last year, you know, we saw Aaron come out onto the, onto the scene and blow up. and He had a great year. And now maybe this will be the, uh, the year of Michael Pelchat. What do you think? Definitely hope so. Keep it up. We are just launching Candlepin Bowling careers, careers yeah. here. You're welcome. Putting people You're on the welcome. map. Uh, we couldn't launch Candlepin Bowling Careers without all the awesome kids and their wonderful parents to bring them to our stops. We couldn't do it without the amazing Franklin TV crew. We couldn't do it without you for tuning in each week. And we couldn't do it without the folks at Academy Lanes for having us at this fine bowling establishment. 12 episodes, and it was a treat. Great 12 weeks. We couldn't do it without you, Brian. It was a pleasure hosting with you. Couldn't do it without you. you. You're the best. And so uh, we'll be back next season. Don't you miss it on Candlepin New Generation. Thanks for watching, everybody. Thank you. Candlepin New Generation encourages kids to be active and enjoy Candlepin Bowling. Candlepin New Generation is made possible by Academy Lanes, New England's largest Candlepin Center. Visit academylanes.com, by your community's public access channel, and by your Franklin friends and neighbors, good folks just like you. Thanks for supporting Franklin TV. And thanks for watching.